All right, guys. My last video, I showed you how to make a plotter pen for the CNC router there. Tonight, we're going to turn this 4x4 CNC plotter into an infinity plotter. Uh, I guess what we will start with first is go to YouTube. Screening ice video. There we are, right there. So I learned how to do some cool stuff with VCarve here. We are going to figure out some tiling tool paths. Um, it's absolutely cool what you can do with this thing. Um, uh, this here is about 8 feet wide right here. Just under 8 feet. My table is 4 feet by 4 feet. We're going to figure out how to set this all up and draw this whole thing out with my little router and my little plotter pen. First thing we're going to do here is we are going to rotate this thing. I like it going that way better. We're going to rotate this thing. I'm going to let you know here right now. So when we go to tile a tool path, you can roll it through in the X or the Y. I know that my computer, this is the Y axis. This is the X axis. I can feed stuff easily through my Y axis under my linear rails and still keep everything close to where my computer is. So, so this is what we got right here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is about five or six inches. So we're going to change our table length here. We're going to come over here to job dimensions and we're going to make the X six inches and we'll make the Y 96 inches. So, um, we've got our little dot here staying that we start in the middle. The only time we can tool path and do tiles at the same time is if we come down here to the bottom left hand corner. It won't let you do it any other way for some reason. But anyway, we are kosher. There we go. We center all this on our work path now right over here and align to material. Good to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set a tool path for this. I can do my profile tool path, 20 thousandths of an inch. It doesn't matter what we're doing there. We are on the line. No need to add any ramps. And we calculate. Got some duplicate vectors there. We will ignore them. So here we are. Bang, boom, bing. So now what we're going to do is we'll get out of all this back to the 2d view if we close this we come to this icon right here tile tool paths so it's telling us that we have the ability to tile tool paths we want to click this button and as stated, I know my y-axis is this way and my x-axis is this way. So we want to tile through the y. If you wanted to run it the other way, all you got to do is simply just right there. Or we could do individual tiles if it's like a big banner that's huge. But let's feed through the y for right now. Right now, we technically have one tile at 96 inches. As this is right here. So... I have a four foot by four foot table, but let's go three feet, 36 inches. We don't want any overlap. I want to line everything up, bang, boom, bing, perfect. Uh, that should be good right there. We will update tiles. So now if you come over here, you can see we have a T1 and a T2. Now a T2 is not lit up, but if you double click it, it goes there, it lights it up. So there's the there's the line right there. Well, actually, we're going to cut just a little bit of this thing right here. And actually, what I'm going to do to make life even easier is for right now, I'm going to hide the tile manager. I'm going to come here to tool path profile. I'm going to delete this. And what I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to draw a line. Straight on through. Well, that line is straight. Close. Well, this is actually really going to help me too with lining up in one sense. We'll just bring this on back and calculate. Yeah, we got duplicate vectors. 2D toolpath. Get rid of that. All right. So now we go back to tile. And once again, we're going to tile tool paths. We're going to go at 36 inches. So there's three tiles. You can see the T3 just up here. You can also check out what you're doing just right here as well, too. So now this is where the cool thing is going to happen here. So we've got the tile 3. We're going to save this one single tool path and we're going to rename it too. Little letters. So let's go ahead and we're going to save that. Save tool paths. We're going to put that right back in the YouTube file here for now and save so now now if we minimize this we just have one tool path here but check this out one two three three little lines right there and it's really neat in one sense because we have a line running straight down the middle which is going to help us line things up. But really, you don't even really need to do that. So what we're going to do here now is where this is just paper, I can't set up a stopper or anything else here. So I'm going to actually, when I get things set up, and you'll see some video of this, I'm going to drop my pen right about here. And I'm just going to scribe a little line off the paper after I get it taped down. And I'm going to scribe just off here. I've already scribed a little line straight this way on my y-axis to line the paper up to. So I scribe a little line. The paper can be overhanging here. It doesn't matter. And I basically make this area right here my zero. I start with the tile number one. It starts drawing everything. Bang, boom, bang. It's going great. It will even draw half of this O right here. And it'll draw this line and it'll draw these lines. What I'm going to do after that is I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to line up the tips of all of these lines right here. And I'm going to make just a tiny little mark on the paper right there. And I'm even going to be so picky as to offset the ruler, the thickness of the pen from these lines, just to get a little bit more accurate, as accurate as I can. I'm going to untape the paper, slide it on down, until that tiny little mark matches up with the mark that I drug off the pen paper right there. Load up tile two and start cutting and it will literally come right back up to this O stop and then carry on around and start right here and keep going. So all right, what we got on the go here, I have my little line that I've already scribed on my Y axis right there on that whiteboard. I'm going to be really careful here. I'm going to do the best I can to line up this paper. I can have as much overhang on one side. It really doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that I am covering half of the pen line, basically. Um, we're going to come over here now. I'm going to drop this pen, and I'm going to scribe that little initial reference line. <clears throat> it's more or less has to be on the white board than anything. Um, I just run it off the paper to make sure it's it's drawing a little bit. I had to manually slow the speed down just a little bit there to make sure I had some good pen marks. Yeah, 
and you see me moving it on back and that's where I'm going to stop it right there and I am going to zero all of my axes out on my computer. So everything's loaded up. I speeded up this video just a little bit. We'll uh, get her checked out. Basically, uh, yeah, we're going to tootle on around here with this little stolen pen doodad that I made on the last video. Feel free to check it out if you want. Uh, best stolen pen I've ever had. So my little, uh, my little router here is a little Bulkman 1500 by 1500. Um, great little machine. I purchased it for a decent price. It came in a lot of little pieces. So you learn about your machine while you're getting it together, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I originally bought it just for milling down rough cut lumber and stuff like that for coffee tables. And uh, I've just been slowly getting into everything else. Um, this sign making thing's working out really good. It's quite challenging. Um, since internet, I still have a full time job, so this is just evenings and weekends. YouTube has been my best friend. I've never seen a CNC router in action before any of this stuff. Um, same with my CNC plasma. <clears throat> kind of self-taught, but uh, it's been an awesome, awesome road. Uh, lots of late nights watching YouTube, watching a whole bunch of other guys figuring stuff out. I'm getting frustrated and fixing it and odds and ends, but uh, yeah, it's been a great go. I'm really hoping one day this would be my full-time business. It's just so cool to watch this thing. So we're going to be just drawing the little line right there coming up. And I'll basically... This thing will go back to zero. I'll draw my little line right here. And you can see I am offsetting that ruler just a tiny little bit from the line. Just to make sure that that line is right on the end of the mark there. And then I'll even be as picky as making sure the pen lines line up exact outside to outside. If they don't, I split the difference. So yeah, you can see right here, I've kind of retaped everything, started up again. And I'm taking off right in the middle of that letter L. Lined up amazingly. Um, better than I thought it would. And uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with this. It's a really cool little trick. This journey has just been amazing. Um, I'm into the whole CNC thing, I think, for about two and a half years now. And I'm learning stuff every day. I hope I never stop learning, but uh, anyway, here's the finished product right here. 94 and a half inches. I'll be taping this thing here to a little bit of sign board. I'm using all those little circles as references to drill my holes and mount a whole bunch of uh, letters. It's going to be an awesome trip. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for this video. Hope you guys got something from it.